Well, hello everybody. I hope everyone's doing good today. Um, so we're going to do a live tomorrow. This is how much we believe. So guys, it's either we're going to disappear tomorrow on screen or we're going to embarrass ourselves. But either way, <clears throat> we're being obedient to Jesus because this is what we feel like he wants in our hearts. And guys, I know there's so many people coming against me and, and against them right now, but, um, I would never do any of this if I didn't believe it. And listen, if it doesn't come true I, I, tomorrow, I will, um, or sorry, Tuesday, I will do an apology and tell everyone that I was deceived. But guys, I'm not doing this for any reason other than to lead people to Jesus. I don't monetize my channel. I lost my job. Um, and the Lord found me another one. And then, um, my church kicked me off the worship team. So guys, I've sacrificed a lot, you know, days, hours, all that stuff. So, um, <clears throat> just know that my heart is in the right place and I truly believe and I, and Jesus showed up in my backyard, guys. You cannot say he didn't. You can see all the pictures. You can see the dragon. You can see the lion, the horse, the woman. Like, so last yesterday was so cool. He, um, God literally uh, told me to look at the video footage again. I heard, you need to look at the video footage. There might be more. Like he was teasing me. So I looked at the video footage and there was more guys. It showed the dragon like so close to the woman and the baby was, was delivered. She was holding the baby on her lap. So I 100,000% believe because of those things that God showed me in the sky with a light show and there was no there was no thunder it wasn't a storm it just showed up in my backyard and um again something that i cannot explain and <clears throat> i just you know i love the lord so much so tomorrow we are going to do a live at 11 a.m eastern time and we're gonna worship you know sing some songs pray pray for the lost you know, because I think that's very important. There's a lot of people um, who are lost and just pray for them that they come to Jesus. And, you know, I don't know what it means, but God said, you know, it's going to feel peaceful at first and then get really ominous. So, excuse me, I'm kind of praying that like he will, because he's, because he wouldn't let me erase that sign, the sickle sign, which was 1838. Because I accidentally said that in a video, but I guess I didn't accidentally see it, send, say it. You know, God was behind it the whole time. Um, because, you know, he said, no, don't erase that, my child. And then we looked up on the Stellaria map, or just did, from Jesus Saves. And he had a sickle. It was the sickle. And if you remember Jesus is coming, he has a sickle in his hand. So I don't think that's a coincidence either. And all the signs for the last four months, because this started December 30th, 2022, and if you're new to my channel, of course, you know, you're not following the story. So you're like, oh no, she's false. You know, she's just trying to get attention or she's monetizing her channel. I don't do any of those things, guys. Um, I've actually given up a lot for Jesus and I love him. He's my heart and I claim that he's the son of God. He's God. He came to earth as man in the flesh. He bled on the cross. He died for our sins. He rose on the third day and you are saved by your childlike faith because it says you know to get to the kingdom you have to have come like a child so you're saved by your faith and his grace he's already paid the the penalty of sin i mean in a message the other day he called worker bees lukewarm and worker bees i believe is is what he said i think he said lukewarm i can't remember because they're not my words um but jesus has been quiet today you know so um maybe it was the last message i don't know i guess we'll just have to see um, I've been praying and um, just worshiping him today and evangelizing and uh, haven't been on the internet too much just even you know, trying to catch up on comments and stuff like that but um, if you can make the live stream you know but definitely reach out to your family and friends because just say that <clears throat> you know play devil's advocate that we ended up being deceived and it wasn't God okay you're still spreading the message about Jesus, okay? So that's the way I look at it. And like I said, I 100% believe God has been giving me signs since December 30th. And what's amazing is the time and the date match the signs in the Solarium app, according to Jess on Jesus Saves. They literally like, 
they match up like perfectly like with the satellites and with the with everything and guys you know he's told me so many things that there's no way that I would possibly know I truly believe that he's coming so we are going to do a live <laughs> And like I said, it's do or die. It's either going to be really, really embarrassing or hopefully it will be the prodigal son movie that he's talking about. And I don't know if he's meaning that there's a movie going to come out afterwards, but he did say you will know if you watch my movie. So I think that's what it is. He had me look up the definition of movie. So it's not like the typical movie that we think of, you know, it's um, a screen, um, in a camera <laughs> so I don't know guys um, all I know is you just believe in Jesus with all your heart trust him with all your heart and if you're the ones out there you know scoffing and, and making videos and stuff before you do that take everything to Jesus so many people have guys and he's given them confirmation after confirmation and he knows our hearts he knows everyone's hearts he knows everyone's motive and that's all I can say. Anyway, seek heavenly things on YouTube. So please be there tomorrow at 11 um, or spend some time with your family and, you know, evangelize and get the word out because I believe he's coming tomorrow, 1853. I believe it with all my heart. And like I said, if he doesn't, then I'll apologize to the world and say, I'm sorry. I guess I was deceived, but I don't believe I was deceived. And the no time, the no hour, guys. McKenna found that number in that scripture, Bible coded with that date and that time. Um, also, Daniel, plus I'm a woman, not a man, but that's beside the point. Spirit. <clears throat> the man doesn't know what the spirit knows. And like I said, you have that. Daniel's been unsealed. You know, Revelation was you can actually read the, the Bible from the bottom to the top. If you read Revelation 22 first and Revelation 22 is first it's about the wedding feast because he's going to take care of his bride he says that in Revelation 3:10 that I'm going to keep them from the hour of trial coming on the whole world and the Philadelphia is the bride the one that gets raptured because if you look at the seven churches that's the only church with the open door the key of David keeping them from the hour of trial which matches John being in the spirit in Revelation 4 1 through 2 because um, there's an open door and a trumpet. And then you also have Revelation 12 where the baby's about to get caught up. It's not a coincidence that the light show happened in my backyard and you're about to see the dragon take the baby. Not a coincidence. So believe in Jesus. Jesus, trust in him with all your heart and he will save you guys. He doesn't, he wishes for no one to perish. So I just want to sing this really quick. I love you, Lord. Though your mercy never fails me And all my days I've been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head I'm gonna sing the goodness of God and all my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able I'm gonna sing the goodness of God love Jesus. He's so awesome. Nor the Telegram and the WhatsApp people on, on YouTube because they're trying to scam you. And our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. I love you guys so much, and I just pray, you know, that we see Jesus tomorrow. Woo! All right. God bless.